It's always fun when lesser known characters get brought back. So naturally, when a one-off rando like Toline gets a new toy, I'm going to be excited. Toline got his day in the sun for one whole episode of R.I.D. 2001, and basically became a background character for the rest of the show. No parking means no parking. Those words burned themselves into my brain back in the day. So even though he really didn't do much for the rest of the series, he certainly made an impression. Legacy Toe Line is a perfect example of what has made the Legacy Line so awesome. Pulling characters as obscure as Toe Line back into the spotlight is so much fun. And even though he's a repaint, I think it's a pretty good one. I haven't bought into the Junkion molds before this. While I always applaud new characters and love the idea of mixing and matching the Junkions, in a world where a deluxe figure is $25, you have to pick your battles. But as my first hands-on look at the mold, I have to say, this is pretty cool and a wonderful update for Toline. This isn't Toline as we remember him. He looks stronger and more powerful than before. The cool sculpted rivets and spikes paint the picture of a more battle-hardened Autobot. This is a Toline that's seen some shit. But his Reptar color scheme hints at the lovable character that won us over all those years ago. Transforming Toline is an interesting experience. He's technically a parts former because of the Junkion's part swapping gimmick, but it's actually possible to convert him to alt mode without taking him apart. Because of the gimmick though, pieces do tend to slide off sometimes, but for the most part, it's pretty successful. In vehicle mode, tow line is a tow truck, but the Mad Max aesthetic really picks up here and emphasizes the theme of a more battle hardened tow line. In my own headcanon, I imagine he got wrecked in battle and the Junkions rebuilt him to be more like them. It really is a cool look for the character, and I dig it. I'm scared to say it makes me want to pick up more of the Junkions, though. This isn't a perfect figure by any means. The plastic feels thin and cheap in some places, and I find the transformation to be a little frustrating because of the removable limbs. But the look and design is just so fun. It's a great reminder that Transformers can be silly and wacky just as much as they can be badass and powerful. Or in some cases, they can be both. I have to say... I only bought this figure because of who he was, but I really liked it overall. Toline is such a fun, dorky character, and this new look adds a layer to him that, honestly, I wasn't expecting to like, but I'm happy with. 